Hello Javiers, good day to all of you. By the way, this is Mark and welcome back to Javi TV. By the way, this time I'm gonna show you the Blue Polar Paracyclid Brooding Tank setup. But before anything else, if you're new here, please consider subscribing so you won't miss out any of our videos. So let's get into the video. Polar Blue Paracyclids are hybrid fish that is the result of a successful spawn between the convect cichlid and the paracyclid. They are very hardy and can withstand a wide range of water parameters. These fish are slightly aggressive and do well in species only in a tank. However, they can be kept with fish of similar temperaments. Their diet should consist of a good quality cichlid pellet or flakes. Or we can also feed them with uh, lots of live foods like Magnadapia and the bloodworms and chubifex worms. And these fish like to dig impressions into the substrate for spawning. So they are best kept in a gravel or sand bottom tank with plenty of rocks to hide. That's why first we need to prepare the breeding tank. And now let's add the small white pebbles. So as what well, you can see there are many ants present on the tank. <laughs> Alright, never mind them, they're just doing their own business. <laughs> And now let's put a big rock as their hiding spot. And usually females will choose male to become his breeding partner.
and usually males are more bigger than females from their same age. Juvenile pullers tend to be bland in color but will brighten up as they sexually mature, sporting a vivid blue color to their bodies and fins. And as what you can see, he's very cute, right? <laughs> And also females may tend to have blue, green, and sometimes even a yellow tint to their bodies as they're ready to spawn. These fish are wonderful parents and usually will not predate on their young. After eggs are laid and fertilized, the hatching process will usually take about 3 days and during this time their parents will watch over them and defend the eggs from all other tank mates. So as what you can see, they are a little bit shy and soon I will give you an update if they already have paired up. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully this guide will help you how to set up first your breeding tank for your blue polar paracyclic fish. And next time I will give you an update when they have eggs. And if you have any comments, suggestions and clarifications, or for more video updates, you can visit our FB page at HaviTVDAPH or just click the link below description. And of course, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to get updated on our next video like this one. And please be safe everyone, to God be the glory. Bye-bye.